So you discovered the world of air guns. You're new to pneumatics, and you decided to pick up the most iconic, most versatile, simply the best air gun in the world. It's, it's the AR of air guns, the FX Impact. This is your new user guide to the Impact. It's a virtual manual that's gonna go over all the basics about your new rifle. So congratulations on joining the world of high-powered pneumatic rifles. The modern air rifle is obviously not what we had as a kid, and uh, it's the fastest growing segment of the rifle market, so welcome. Now I'm gonna show you what comes with your rifle. It comes in this nice hard case, die cut, Note that my gun has the scope already installed in it. The scope does not come with the rifle, though most dealers will sell you a scope and even zero it for you, so it might come with your scope already on there. Now the Impact is the Ferrari of the air guns. There's a lot to learn about it. We're gonna show you about the adjustability and tuning. That is all in this manual, so this manual is key. You wanna make sure you spend some time with it. Don't be that guy that never reads the manual. Uh, spend some time with the manual. You also have your magazine and the caliber of that you purchased it. You have a fill probe that we're gonna talk about. And then obviously the rifle. Now with the Impact, there's a lot of options with the Impact. From a color standpoint, you have the all black or you do have the bronze where the action is in bronze. The barrel lengths, you have 500, 600, or 700 uh, millimeter lengths. And that is in calibers from 177, 22, 25, 30, and 35 caliber. So compared to our other rifles, this goes up to 35 caliber. It gives you a lot of options, especially from a hunting standpoint. Now, when it comes to those barrel lengths, really that's gonna come down to the style of hunting and what projectile you're using. If you're just using pellets, it doesn't matter between a 500, 600, and 700. They're all gonna shoot those pellets the, the speed that's needed and accuracy. The difference with barrel lengths is if you're starting to go into slugs, that's where that might be more of a concern um, as the longer the length is needed, especially the heavier the weight of the slug. So if, if you wanna do these high-powered slugs out to extreme distances, yeah, maybe you want a 700. If you want to do like more normal slugs and a lot of pellets, maybe the 600 is perfect where, you know, the compactness of the 500, if you're just doing uh, pellets or super lightweight slugs, that works great too. Now, the other difference with the lengths of the barrel is the reservoir of air, your, your carbon fiber bottle that comes with it. So in the compact, it's a 300cc bottle, the 600 is a 480, and then this 700, also called the sniper, you have a 580cc bottle of air. Now, you know, once you buy the gun, you can buy all sorts of bottles, there's even double adapters, all sorts of crazy stuff, you know. We're gonna get into it later, but this is the most customizable air gun in the world, and that's a lot of the appeal. So that's really your options as far as what you're buying, and it, 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 as far as stock, and then we'll go over all the third-party options at the end of this video. The other thing to note with those different barrel lengths, there's a slight price variance, but that's, it's not much. Um, they all come with the Smooth Twist X Superior Barrel. That's the barrel that is built for pellets and lightweight slugs. When I say lightweight slugs, meaning slugs that are equivalently the same grain weight as the pellet that that caliber is set for. If you wanna shoot slugs, you're gonna to need to purchase a slug liner or called a heavy liner of the different caliber you're looking at. And these are very inexpensive. And it's just a different twist rate and choke that's built for slugs versus pellets. So that's an accessory. Now, if this is your first air gun, I would suggest maybe don't dive into slugs right away. Focus on pellets, get to know your rifle, and look, if you're shooting 100 yards or under, pellets is the perfect tool. Slugs is really about when you're going further than 100 or you know maybe you're hunting and you need that bigger grain weight. All right, the first thing with your rifle is you're gonna need an air source. You gotta fill it with air. Uh, there's really two approaches to this. One is people will buy a big carbon fiber bottle, like you know, it looks like a scuba tank, or is a scuba tank, and with that, if you're close to a dive shop or an air gun shop, or you pick up a home compressor, one of these bigger compressors, you can fill that big tank, take that into the field, you get multiple refills. The other approach that seems to be gaining in popularity is you pick up a portable compressor. These portable compressors are good enough to fill the onboard tank. They plug into a 110 volt uh, you know, wall outlet, or you can plug it into, or you can connect it to your car battery. So either way, you gotta have a fill source. Attached to that fill source, you're gonna have the fill whip or the, the, the cable. One thing to note, most cables come with this really basic foster female quick disconnect. On the impact, you're never gonna to wanna to use this and I'll show you why. To fill the rifle, you pull off the dust cover here and you can see there's a recessed male quick disconnect. There. And, and that's recessed, I mean, aesthetically that's really nice, but with it being recessed, with that normal, uh, what comes with most hoses, you might be able to get that on, but it's extremely hard to get off without like some small needle nose. So don't do it. That's why inside your gun, we gave you this FX quick disconnect that has a longer uh, head on there. There's a little bit more, you can grab that with your nails easily. So 
That's what you want to use. Don't make the mistake of using the standard ones. It's not going to work well. So what you're going to do, you're going to grab the end with the FX side. You're going to push that on over the uh, connector. You'll hear it click, but make sure you tug on that. If that's not connected properly and you fill it with air, that can flip off. It can smack you. It can injure you. So you want to make sure that's nice and connected. At this point, close your bleed valve, open the air or turn on your compressor, fill the reservoir. Here on the side of the rifle, that is your air pressure in the tank. This fills up to 250 bar. Once it's full, stop the compressor or turn off the uh, bottle, bleed the line, and then just grab that edge, pull it off, put it back on your dust cover, and you're good to go. You got air. So now that you have air, I'm gonna show you how to load your magazine. And you know, when it comes to magazines, there's no better magazine than the FX Impact magazine. It's high capacity. This is a 22 caliber, you get 28 shots in this magazine. It's called the side shot. What you're going to do, uh, you're going to turn this toggle, two clicks, take off the lid. It's a spring tension magazine. So what happens, I'm just going to spin that magazine. So I got the spring tension on there. I'm going to hold that. I'm going to get my first pellet or slug. I'm going to put my finger behind the hole so as I put it in, I don't drop it through. And if I put that first one in and let go, that tension, that first pellet holds the tension. Now it's really easy to go through and load up the full mag. All right, with my magazine full, grab that top clear lid, put it on, turn that toggle two clicks. So now with the full magazine, I'm ready to show you how to load your rifle. Obviously we're in a studio, so I'm not gonna load some actual rounds, so I got my dummy mag to demonstrate with. Now, to load the magazine. The Impact is a bullpup rifle, meaning the barrel goes all the way back and the magazine is at the rear of the stock. So to open it, I'm gonna open the caulking lever, so this is the movement of the magazine. You're kind of putting it in, lifting it up till you hear it click. Clear side of the magazine back. Just push that in. There's the click. You can always test it. If you can't move it out, now we're locked and loaded. At this point, I'm pushing the caulking lever forward, and I've actually loaded that slug or pellet into the chamber. That means it is ready to fire. So that's very important. You don't want to put the magazine in the gun until you're ready to fire, because you might forget that there's a pellet or slug in the chamber. Now, as far as removing the mag, you're just doing the opposite. You're going to open the caulking lever, you're gonna, there's a little toggle switch here. You're gonna push that down, and pull out the magazine. You're removing it. Now at this point, I've started to cock the rifle, right? I've, I've, I've pulled back the hammer. So what I'm gonna do to decock the rifle, I'm gonna put it on fire. I'm gonna put my hand on the cocking lever, pull the trigger, that moves the cocking lever forward all the way. And now I'm safely decocked, put it on safety. I'm good. So quick note about the magazine and how your rifle operates. This is essentially a bolt action rifle, meaning every time I shoot, I have to cock the gun and when I push that cocking lever forward, it pushes a slug or pellet into the chamber and it's ready to fire. So what's gonna happen, inevitably, you're gonna be out in the field, maybe you cock the rifle, you're ready to go, you don't have the shot, you get distracted, and then you go to cock it again, and now you've pushed another slug or pellet into the chamber. This is gonna happen. Now, no big deal. If I have two slugs or pellets in the chamber, I'll have enough pressure, I simply discharge the gun, it's gonna shoot, and then I start fresh. Now, the other thing that can happen is maybe I'm shooting, I've cocked the rifle, busy, busy, busy. I go to cock again, I'm like, oh crap. I think I already, I already have one in the chamber there. Great, at this point, remove the magazine so I don't load another one. Push the cocking lever forward, fire the gun. And just so you know, if you're wrong and it was dry firing, that's not gonna injure the gun at all. It's not a big deal. Every time you cock that lever, you are loading the gun. And if you do this multiple times, you can jam a barrel at that point. You're gonna have to contact your dealer or give us a call. Now let me show you the different features of the rifle. Cause especially when it comes to the impact, you're gonna see all these gauges and knobs. You're gonna be really tempted to start turning away and playing with them. Don't, <laughs> it's tuned perfectly from your dealer, from the factory. But let me show you how they work. And this is where the manual really comes into play. You actually have three gauges on the rifle. This gauge is your tank pressure. This gauge is your working regulator pressure, meaning that's the before you shoot the, um, the, the pellet or slug, that's the pressure that pushes that. And then this third gauge, that's actually your first regulator. This is a unique rifle that has two regulators. So this first regulator kind of lessens the, the pressure off your tank and goes to the second regulator. That really helps the standard deviations and uh, efficiency of the gun. Now on this side of the rifle, you're gonna see our quick tune adjustments. This is a fantastic how you tune the rifle. And again, you don't have to tune the rifle when you first get it. Like, <laughs> get the pellets you're gonna shoot, put a bunch of rounds through it, don't mess with this yet. In fact, you're gonna to wanna to write down the settings in your manual. Now, as you advance and you wanna do, maybe you advance to slugs or different grain pellets or you're changing calibers, that's what this is all about. So this is an easy way to tune that. What's, there's a macro and a micro tuner. 
basically uh, each pellet or slug kind of has a sweet spot to shoot. And essentially when you roll this barrel class, you're kind of adding or decreasing one to two feet per second. And this is more of a 10 feet per second. It's just, it's kind of how the, the unit works, but that's what the manual for. And there's a bunch of videos that really get into that. Other adjustments as those regulators can be adjusted. Again, you're not going to do this right away, but down the line, uh, the main regulator that adjusts the pressure you shoot at is right back here. That first regulator is underneath uh, this bipod that's attached and you have a front valve adjuster for fine tuning. So these are all things, you don't have to go down that rabbit hole yet. Like I said, from your dealer, from the factory, it's gonna be tuned for the pellet that's recommended for the rifle, but as you advance and understand it, you can have fun with that. But you know, you might not. A lot of people, if they're only shooting that one pellet and they're under 100 yards, you might never have to touch that, and that's fine. The point is you have the capability of changing calibers or different grain weights. It's, it's all there under your fingertips, just a slight learning curve, but not that big a deal. And like I said, there's lots of videos out there showing you how to do that. Last thing to note is the trigger is adjustable. It's fully adjustable. It comes from the factory being, it's a 16 ounce two stage trigger, but you can, you can modify it to a one stage, heavier, lighter. Uh, the manual shows you how to do it and everything's under there. As far as the impact itself, I mentioned it earlier is the most customizable rifle on the market. And there's a lot of accessories for the impact to make it uniquely your own. Actually, there's more accessories for the impact than any other air gun and possibly all the other air guns combined. It's just immense. You can truly make the impact uniquely yours. There's everything from extended ARCA rails, bottom rails, top rails, butt pads, cheek pieces, things like double bottle adapters are available, different grips. I mean. It's endless and, and probably as we're talking, another one's being made by someone. That's, that's how awesome it is. From an FX standpoint, uh, especially if you get into slugs, there's things like tension barrel kits, uh, you got barrel tuners, slug power kits, tungsten hammer, things that just ekes out performance based on your style of shooting. But like I said, out of the gate, this is really tailored to pellets, lightweight slugs. Have fun doing that first and then figure out where it goes, make it uniquely yours. I should also mention on your scope, I would suggest either medium or high rings. Low is just going to be too low because it's where the cheek piece is. It's, I've always found high to be really good on that. Uh, also mentioning that the cocking lever is reversible for you lefties. So this is probably one of our most friendly left-handed guns. The magazine is not interfering as you shoot. It's below your chin. So this is a great lefty option. And what else can I say? There's a reason this is the number one searched air gun through Google because it's the best air gun in the world. It wins the competition. It has all the latest innovations. You can do so much with it. Man, congratulations. You just got yourself the best air gun. Now go have fun.